We have some breaking news for you now just into our newsroom. There's a large police presence right now at 122 23rd Street South in Fargo for a report of a stabbing. A reporter on scene says one person has been taken from the area by ambulance. Stick with Valley News Live as we learn more about this breaking story. The Biden administration announced during a press conference today that it will provide more federal funding to expand COVID-19 testing. This will include $650 million to expand testing for schools and underserved populations, $815 million for manufacturing of testing supplies, and almost $200 million for virus genome sequencing. The COVID-19 response coordinator says that Johnson & Johnson will only have a few million doses ready when the vaccine's likely authorized by the FDA. I want to be clear that Johnson & Johnson has a 100 million commitment for the end of June of doses. At the same time, we're going to be starting with only a few million in inventory, and we're doing everything we can working with the company to accelerate their delivery schedule. Officials say weather may play a factor in vaccine distribution and deliveries. And speaking of weather, the CDC is warning that winter weather will most likely lead to widespread delays of COVID-19 vaccine shipments. In a statement, the CDC says the adverse weather is expected to continue to impact two of the vaccine shipping hubs that multiple states rely on. That includes the FedEx facility in Memphis, Tennessee, and the UPS facility in Louisville, Kentucky. The CDC says it will be working with the jurisdiction as well as manufacturing and shipping partners to help reduce any delivery delays or cancellations. Stick around. We'll have one more look at your Wednesday evening weather planner when we come back.